Hello and welcome to more playing StarMade. So last time I had a small little attack on our Starbase. Uh, I've gone and repaired any little bit of damage that was there, but I think it's time to have a second wave of enemy attacks. Now there's a console command that allows you to spawn enemies, and it's initiate. So you in the chat window you just type slash and it's actually pretty good if you just type the first couple letters uh, or just even hit tab it, it will auto complete any command so um, then it'll give you instructions on, on how to use it um, so it's an initiate underscore wave and then the two variables are the level and the how long it will be before they'll spawn so I don't really know but we'll try five and level 5 in 5 seconds and see what happens so all's clear we're just hanging out and then oh no sensors indicate enemies let's get to our stations we're under attack and yeah there definitely seems to be a few of them Turrets are still set to attack the selected target, and that seems to be working. Oh, and they've cut through our shields already. Taking hull damage. Time to do some evasive maneuvers. Well, they are really cutting through my shields. barely getting a chance to recharge. Uh, I just have to keep moving a bit. Hopefully, maybe the base will keep a few busy. up. So level 5 is uh, <laughs> pretty difficult, I guess. Help, Starbase. Give us some cover while we recharge our shields. Oh, asteroid, at least there's no collision damage. Our base seems to be weathering the storm, although they all seem to be focused on us mainly. And probably a good idea. Well, that base has a lot of guns. If, if we can get some in and disable a few, we should be okay. Oh, our shields just really aren't holding up, so... Definitely a, a good... Give me a much better reason to really develop a a near invulnerable battle cruiser a dreadnought, I think. Something that will live up to the harsh realities of a harsh space. Well, our destroyer was serving us fairly well. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many levels you can make these. Uh, I'm guessing maybe worth experimenting around with, but uh, five is definitely a challenge for the current ship I have. Uh, the base seems to be doing much better, although I don't think they're really focusing on it. But thankfully it's giving us a lot of cover fire. Oh, I think we ran into someone. Now, I'm thinking maybe the turrets should probably stay on just any target. I don't know if they're firing at anyone that's close by, but if uh, trying to um, switch targets is difficult if I'm not actually facing them. So, pros and cons to you can focus fire or <laughs> you can have guns just sitting there idle trying to track something that's too far away while someone else nearby pounds you. 
There we go. Maybe we'll try and keep someone in sight. Oh, there, that guy. Oh, there must be attacking the starbase or something now. Still haven't quite got the hang of the missiles. Don't know what I'm doing wrong there, but when we're designing our battle cruiser, I'm going to be doing a few weapons tests, so maybe we'll be able to get some more information from that. And oh, if we can just take down one of these guys. Have we lost our left turret? I think I have. Well, I think we'll be incorporating some new turret designs as well. There we go. That's one down. At least one that won't be shooting at us for the moment. Let's get back to the base. Now, our shields seem to be doing much better now that there's a few fewer of them. Uh, so far it looks the base is more or less untouched. Which is good. Oh, did I just run it? <laughs> I just ran into the cube. Wow. These guys are definitely not to be trifled with. So that's a level five. I'm gonna have to make a much larger ship and see how high they can go. And we can also maybe spawn, some, develop a new ship. We can spawn a few of our destroyers and destroy our old ships. I think if we can assign an AI to those, that uh, might be an interesting challenge. Draw some fire away from our collector ship. This guy's got to be almost gone. Come on. They're not getting away that easy. Half his ship has been. The whole front half has been basically destroyed. <laughs> I think he's pretty much down to... Yeah. Must have destroyed the last of his engines or something. And... Cloud of Pirate Treasure. Alright. Still seems to be two of them left, though. They Maybe they're tangling with our starbase. We better go back and help protect it. Yeah, maybe they didn't need protecting. A core overheating, that's probably, uh, looks like one of the other enemies. There's still two, though. Our starbase is, is looking okay. collector ship. We gotta stop them. Defend the starbase. Oh, that, that'll do it. He didn't like that at all. No. Come on. Zipping all over the place. So, been taking some damage. Uh, what was that? Uh, all that was left of one of the ships. Or maybe that was one of a uh, little runabout I had, I think. <laughs> see the strangest things in space sometimes.
Come on, hit him. There we go. Come on, he's hasn't got much left. finish this. Come on now, there's the core. Finally. And we only have one left. He's been trying to tangle with our base, but... I think the base has been holding up extremely well. I wasn't sure where it was a stationary target, whether it would draw a whole lot more fire, but the turrets seem to be able to handle a lot of these guys for the most part. I just don't know where that guy is. I think uh, a new design is going to require some turrets that give uh, a much greater field of fire to the side and below us. I'm not quite sure of the design yet. If you have any suggestions, certainly leave a comment. Um, let's see what I can do. I'm definitely not the most artistic type, but uh, I can lay down a few blocks, I suppose. Anything that has a square focus to the to the shape, <laughs> I, th I think I can handle squares and rectangles. Oh, that chips, but oh, that go there it goes. So that was a level five wave of enemies that you can spawn using the in initiate wave command. Initiate underscore wave. Uh, the first number is the level of the enemies you want to spawn, and then the second number is how many seconds it'll be before they spawn. So, certainly helpful for testing out ship designs. Oh, I forget what that was turret. Oh, that would... Haha! <laughs> no, I don't... Why is it... Okay. Uh, so that was our turret, and uh, since I've targeted it, it's... Uh, <laughs> our turret's tried to take out our other turret. So that's something to keep in mind. I think I'll be switching it back to the any. I can't... S stop blowing up our turret. Come on now. There's enemies to attack. There we go. So our our dying turret's going to draw the enemy fire while we finish this guy off. That is quite hilarious. So it might even be worthwhile maybe trying to make gun mines or something and placing them uh, with no thrusters or something and an uh, AI module and place them around outside the base so you have sort of a perimeter defense that would be that would be quite cool and you can give yourself a bit of a, a perimeter so if you start seeing shots off in the the distance maybe when just on the outside of your sensor range it gives you a bit of a warning that enemies are nearby that might be worth something investigating. So, I think we have this guy for the most part. Of course, I've had to continue to move my conning tower up higher, and it's been increasingly more difficult to try and aim from that position with the main cannon. There we go. Uh oh. Did I just um, spawned out my outside my ship somewhere? <laughs> uh, 
thousand meters away. So here's one of those always good to have a few cores on hand because uh, sometimes you do that when the ship is moving and if you get out of the ship it tries to put you inside the ship and then it doesn't like that so it puts you where there's no, no ship to interfere with your character and um, yeah but it sometimes cause a few problems when it drops you a thousand me kilometers from away, a thousand meters or more. So, our ship has sustained some heavy damage, although it appears to be all on the armor. So, for the most part, uh, all our core systems are, are basically intact. Well, of course, we lost one of the turrets, but um, you know, encasing the weapons in that colored hardened armor. Um, as, as definitely protected while the the outside flashing armor has sort of been destroyed and exposing the inner parts there there's still a good amount of armor around our core weapon system so we, we probably could have survived with taking a lot more damage um, the triple triple armor around our core is is holding well it just seems to be the outside armor that's sustained a lot of damage the inner harder armor that you know, some light damage but for the most part that's intact and then of course there's a one more layer of the the lighter armor on the inside um, the front always sort of seems to take a, a fair amount of damage but for the most part she, she survived it well a few scars so get out of this and uh, we want to collect that back up so you can always have that f for use again. We'll have to reorientate ourselves to the gravity. There we go. Now we can have a little look at the uh, our star base. Make sure that survived. There still seems to be an enemy nearby, but I think that was a hectic enough battle for now. So definitely shows the need that we're going to need a bigger and stronger ship to face the harsh realities of deep space. But if our star base is held, then at least it'll be a, a great staging area and safe place to begin construction of our dreadnought. As long as it has survived, is the hope. Oh, no, don't. Why are you... Well, okay, why not? I could try and collect it again, but since I have to go outside and switch my guns to the different type of targeting mode, otherwise we'll start trying to take out our own station, which I, I don't want to do. So, for the most part, I believe everything held out pretty good. Our little repair ship once again took a few shots, but the base, the shields apparently held completely. No, not a speck of damage anywhere. So, there we go. I guess that's it for now. I'm gonna perhaps leave that as a reminder of of creating a, an extra powerful shield generator and I'm gonna start work on a a dreadnought class warship with carriers and probably the first video um, I'll probably do is make a fighter because I want to make a little f uh, several fighters that will go in it so that'll give me a a good base to size the rest of the ship because I'll want a nice large hangar bay to fit several of those in um, so I'll, I'll start with that and um, we'll see what, what happens from there. Thank you for watching. Playing StarMate.